Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name's Defender, and welcome back to more Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Previously, uh, we thought that we were getting ourselves into another regular adventure with Bowser kidnapping Princess Peach and Mario saving the day. But, uh, as a giant sword falling from the sky proved, this ain't that kind of story. So, we've been tasked with repairing the Star Road. We've already collected two of the necessary seven star pieces. And we've also made friends with the world's fluffiest frog, Mallow, and uh, a sentient doll, Gino. I wonder what other wacky hijinks that we'll get ourselves into today. I guess there's only one way to find out. So we saved Rose Town last time, and now we can move on our merry way. So we have the pipe vault here, which we can actually skip, since it leads to a totally optional place, but come on, where's your sense of adventure? Hmm. Uh, did anyone remember to pack wool and other non-burning materials? I sure hope so. Oh, hello. Oh, just some regular old Goombas? This'll be a snap. One experience point. I think we can do better than that. Oh, hello. Yeah, if you're too slow, the thwomp will knock you off of the staircase, but just jump up it quickly and you'll be fine. Ah, okay, this little sequence, as, as I miss all of the coins. In order to get this frog coin, you'll actually need to do something that I don't think the game explains or you can do anywhere else, but dash towards the frog coin, then press down, and you'll slide under the gap. Can I go down this one? I cannot, okay. Oh. Ooh! That was a rare Shy Guy enemy, but as you can see, it ran away. No, not HP Rain. Thunderbolt! Uh-oh. And Gino's a Scarecrow. As mentioned before, as you, when you're a Scarecrow, you cannot use items or your basic attacks, but you can still use miscellaneous actions and special abilities. A Scarecrow firing a laser. What a concept. What? You can't do that. You can't just immediately dive back in. Uh, one at a time. So, how's everybody doing today on this Friday afternoon? I hope everyone's doing just swell. Uh, the weather's cooled off a little bit. We had a big storm on Wednesday, which has made things kind of humid, but at least the overall temperature has dropped a little bit, so that's nice. Oh, yeah, this... There's a few hidden boxes along the way. This one holds a frog coin. This one has another frog coin. And that one holds a flower. Sorry about that, just needed to tweak my settings a little bit. Still experimenting with stuff, trying to make sure everything sounds nice and crisp without, you know, deafening people, which is the main goal. Oh, I missed, I missed the thing that I wanted to do in the first place, hold on.
Let's see, how much would a fire orb do? Oh, that did less than a regular attack. Interesting. Thankfully, Mario's true form pin protects him from becoming a scarecrow. Okay, so what I forgot to do was, if you duck down into this last pipe before the main one, you'll find yourself in this room with this little guy. Goomba thumping. Alright, sounds like fun. I'll pay up ten coins. Uh, no. Well, actually I do, but we'll explain anyway. Thump a Goomba, get a point. Thump a Spiky, lose a point. Thump a Golden Goomba, get three points. If you get more than twenty points, you get a prize. Alright, here we go! Oh, I missed. I missed a what? Come on. I could do better than that. Also enjoy the nice remix of the Super Mario Brothers 3 card mini game. I got 20 points. I got 21 points. All right, I win something, don't I? I got a flower tab. All right. Hello, Rip Ham. We're glad to have you here. Love this game? I love this game, too. It's really good. Although I haven't played it in a really long time. Oh, the, oh. I was about to say, those, uh... There's that rare shy guy again. But the little white plants are called nippers, and if you accidentally bump into them, they'll steal your cash. Yeah, I'm not sure where a piranha plant picked up the ability to turn people into scarecrows, but, eh, creative liberties. I see that treasure box up there. Another flower. Ow! Oh, that's just a trap. Okay. Ah, here we go. Finally, some fresh air again. Childhood memories are coming back to me. I did not play this game when I was a kid. I first experienced it as on the uh, Wii's Virtual Console when I was a teenager, so... Welcome to Yoster Isle, as this place is called. It's home of Yoshis! So many Yoshis. Well, what do you need my help with? Oh, all right, sure. Hmm, seems like something about the race. Oh. Yeah, let's give it a, a shot. Got some cookies. I do like cookies. Uh, let me save real fast. I mean, I, I know I just did, but, you know, never can be too careful. Alright, so let's go find Yoshi again, and we'll talk to Boshi, the, uh, blue Yoshi with the shades. Yes! All right. And Toad will come in by and uh, offer some practice, which is really important because this minigame is actually kind of tough. Yes. 
Press A and B alternately along with the rhythm. Eat a cookie to go faster. It's like a boost. Yeah, help me out. Amazed that they were able to do this on the Super Nintendo? Yeah, uh... Admittedly, this game did come out in, like, 1996. But, you know, it's still really impressive. Keep all enemies from the end. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see if I can do this. All right. Still got that old sense of rhythm, which is good. All right. No problemo. Oh. Got a Yoshi cookie. All right. Thanks, Yoshi. All right, well, it seems like we were able to quickly solve the problem on Yoster Isle, which is good. And now we can just jump right to here from the world map. Uh, let's see, wasn't there supposed to be something else here? Maybe that doesn't, maybe... Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like that'll show up until later, which is fine. Yeah, again, the, the Pipe Vault and Yoster Isle are totally optional, but, you know. I like doing it. Alright, so we're gonna head to our new location, Moleville. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're a little tired, and we have, like, way too much money. Yes. Ah, much better. All right, we'll save, and then we'll see what's going on here. We'll see what problem the locals have that they need us to solve, because nobody is apparently self-sufficient in this universe. I mean, I like helping people, but come on, y'all. I know you could do better than that. Stop by the item shop first. Ooh, we got some uh, new weapons, armor, and upgrades of items. We now have mid mushrooms and maple syrups. First we'll get the punch glove and the symbols. We'll also get the mega shirt, the mega cape, and mega pants, which just sounds hilarious. I'm actually going to sell all of the old copies of stuff that we have, because, uh, well, now we can upgrade. Get some mid mushrooms. And some maple syrups. And one more. No, I don't want to sell stuff yet. We'll equip. So Mario gets the punch glove and the mega shirt. Mallow gets the symbols and mega pants. And Gino already has the finger shot, but he gets the mega cape. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else that we can do in this shop yet, which is fine. Might as well see what's going on around here. Seems like there's something going on in the mountain. Huh? Oh, look who's here! Thank you. 
All right, well, we'll see how much you can do with three Goombas and three Magikoopas. I mean, we fought more than that on, like, what? Just an average basis? All right. Keep looking around town quickly. No one here, that's fine. Ah! A star, eh? Hmm, we could probably use something like that. All right. Thankfully, we can use their heads to jump up here. All right, let's go inside. At your service. What even would be a Goomba's uncle? I have no idea. I don't. And my Goomba family tree history isn't uh, up to scratch. Sure have. Of course. All right, up we go. Ah, yes, the most classic of enemies: sentient boulders. So we got here are magmites. These little guys are pretty tough, at least in terms of defense. But thankfully, they don't hit too hard. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. All right, let's try a Thunderbolt. Yeah, I'd say that worked pretty well. Oh, that's cool. Sure, ugh, an enigma. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely an enigma, because I have no idea what that thing is supposed to be. It's like a... flying pig rock? Mmm, that's some good damage right there. Uh, let's give it a good old jump. That went pretty well. The walls appear to be southerners. Yeah, they do kind of have that like southern drawl in their in their speech. Um, guess we'll just wait until we get to Mallow's turn, and then just thunderbolt everything. That's a pretty good punch, but doesn't compare to thunderbolt. Ugh! Clusters. Oh, I remember these guys. I'm pretty sure clusters explode if you use a special attack on them, so, uh, let's not do that. Hmm. Oh, I completely beefed that, but it's okay. I still got him. Uh, let's use HP Rain on, Ma on Gino. He's looking a little rough. There we go. Take care of the clusters first, and then we can just thunderbolt away the uh, magmites. There we go. Oh, I got a defense up. Not, not that it'll matter much. Look at all that experience. And Gino reaches level seven. Yeah, you need more HP. 
like way more HP. Are you all right there? A rare item in the mines. Oh, all right, well. Can't go that way. Guess we'll just follow the sign. Huh. That's a suspiciously placed spring. Let's see where it goes. Ah, yes, it goes straight to Concussionville, USA. My favorite place. Oh, he took the coins. Chase Croco and get them back. All right, well, you don't have to tell me twice. Ah, ba bombs. Well, it would make sense that, you know, in a mine, there'd be explosives lying around. Let's see, did they take my items? They did not take my items, just my cash. Oh, all right. Got all these boulders in the way. What kind of mine has sentient boulders in it? That's no mine that I want to spend time in. Oh, that did nothing to the to the uh, Sparky, but that's okay. We'll finish it off with finger shot. Well, it does pay to be prepared, I guess. Croco has inadvertently helped us get further along the way. Thanks, I think. Get rid of everything in our way, because that's how I always operate in RPGs. I fight everything in my way. Mostly because I like the experience, but, you know. I just I just also like the combat if in RPGs. I don't know why. I just like fighting stuff. Oh, that actually killed it. Alright. Oh, and I got a lucky. Yep, I'll do it. Uh, oh. Well, I lost out on four experience points. I'll just make it back by fighting this guy. Well, I just straight up whiffed that. There we go. Well, that's some big damage. And I got a defense up. So is anyone here, uh, playing or is interested in playing, uh, Paper Mario the Origami King? Because at the time of this recording, it has in fact just come out today. Looks like they, they went that way, so we'll keep following them. No, come back here, you. Take the clusters out first. There we go. All right. Another defense up. It's 
Somehow I, I didn't think punching fire would be that effective, but hey, you know. Excuse me, mister, I believe you have something that belongs to me. I'm gonna have to ask for it back. Once again! That was so much fun the first time, I'll just do it again! He didn't have the coins, but he dropped a flower tab. Hey, I'm all about flower tabs. Oh, you think you're so smart, huh? Hiding behind the spring. Ooh, that's a lot. That's alright with me. Hello, Master Alex. We're glad to have you here. You were just in time to watch us beat up some crooks who stole our coins so that we can get them back. Uh, go with this guy. You looked at me funny. Uh, no, I think Gino will go next, so we'll just go with the symbols. All right. Oh, I got a honey syrup. I got another flower tab. Uh, how's my FP looking? It's looking a little low. I'll use a honey syrup. Uh, excuse me, sir, your bag is, uh, giving away your location. Also, there's Croco. We'll just rough up your goons, then we'll take care of Croco. Oh, one damage. How very frightening. I'm, I'm shaking over here. Although I did miss, which is unfortunate. Oh, there he goes. Got another flower tab. All right. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna try and outsmart him. We're gonna go around. Aha! You've been bamboozled, good sir. Now give me my stuff back. Ow! Go for another fire orb. Oh, that didn't work as well this time. Oh well. Croco wears a top hat. At least he looks classy while stealing. Yes, he does. You know what? Sometimes it's all about the class. Sure do pack a lot of explosives, but that's okay. Hmm, apparently you can't block that. Oh well, it's fine. Should be close to giving up anyway. I don't know what you stole, but, uh, we don't take kindly to that around here. Chomp. Ow! He threw a Goomba at me! Why do you have a Goomba in your bag? How long have they been in there? These are the important questions that I ask myself on a daily basis. Like those 1920 bank robbers that dressed up in suits and fedoras. Yeah, you know. You know, back then, crime... You had you had to have class to be a criminal. I know that sounds weird, but you know. Even if you're a criminal, you still need to look good. It's important. Would you like to stop that, please? 
Look, you're out, you're out, you're outnumbered and you're outgunned, so why don't you just give up? Whew, thanks. Got the coins back and picked up a bomb. All right, cool. Now let's get into some more fights, why not? I could use the experience. Uh, Sparky. There are a lot more fights in this place than I remember. Oh, we even got all of our FP back. Uh, clusters. All right. Oh, I screwed up the timing. That's okay, though. Goodbye. There we go. Oh, I gotta pick me up. And Mario reaches level nine. Uh, what to upgrade? What to upgrade? Give him more power, why not? Whoops, there we go, that's better. Patch Gino up. And we'll just uh, keep on, because uh, I think we can now progress now that we have a bomb. I find that you can open all sorts of doors if you have explosives available to you. Nice. And Mallow reaches level 9. Yeah, let's give him that power upgrade too. So many rocks! I mean, it is a mine, so I guess it, it would be surprising if there were, like, no rocks in a mine. I'm just grateful that Thunderbolt takes care of everything nice and quick. One bob -omb, really? That's my opponent? Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Ah, hello. Yeah, we'll let a trained professional use that. Of course! Hopefully there's a save block somewhere. There's a box. Oh, I need to jump down onto the tracks briefly. Because we can't go this way. But that's okay, we get a frog coin for our efforts. And one at a time, I guess. Oh, okay. Interesting. I mean, I guess I should have expected that, but 
It, it, it dealt like no damage. I'm not sure what they were thinking with Thunderbolt. It's just, it's got good power, it hits all enemies, it's the first skill that Mallow has, and it's, you know, it costs only a measly two flower points. It's such a good skill. Nope, going full ro rogue light and no save blocks ever again. That would be an interesting challenge for maybe a shorter RPG than this one, but uh, that sounds like such a challenge would require uh, <laughs> a lot of bravery, which I'm not sure if I have. That, that does genuinely sound like a very interesting idea, just like a traditional turn-based RPG with no saving. But, like, every time you died, you know, you went back to the start. But hey, you've opened shortcuts, you learn character skills as you gain ex Like, your experience would carry over, but, you know, your progress wouldn't. Like, how far you made it, but there are certain shortcuts and things. I don't know, I think that could be an interesting idea. Also, Gino learned Gino Boost. Uh, let's give him some more magic attack. Oh! No, come here, you. Oh, I ran out. Well, I got a few fights at least. I was just goofing around, but if I accidentally made a good idea, I'd take. I'll take it. Hey, you know. Sometimes, the best way to come up with an idea is just to spitball and see where it comes up with, because, you know, sometimes you just you just come up with something. Nothing wrong with that. No one said that good ideas have to be made by a committee, or, you know, have to be planned ahead of time. I don't know, it just kind of seems like they've stuffed roguelike elements into all kinds of games these days. So it just seems it just seems a little strange that there's not like a traditional turn-based RPG that hasn't taken a crack at the idea yet. Cause I mean you got like roguelike shooters. Like, um oh what's that game called? As I fumble the timing again. Heavy bullets! I think that's what it's called. And of course you got things like Rogue Legacy. Uh Spelunky, of course. You know, it just, it just seems like it's been, again, it's been tried in almost every other kind of genre game, so it just seems weird that no one's either been brave or foolish enough to try it in a traditional-esque RPG. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we're fine. I love that battle transition. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the sound effect and the speed of it. Because, you know, you, sometimes you get those battle transitions that take, you know, like 10 years to complete, but that one's just like, whoosh, and it's really fast. I appreciate that. I appreciate it when games don't try to waste my time. Oh, I got an HP max. All right, get out of here, you. Wow, look at all this money. Can I even hold any more coins? No, I am full. I guess that just shows, like, how cheap everything is. Ooh, that's a battalion of bob -oms right there. Uh, we'll see if we can't jump over them. Well, there's the save block. Well, I tried to, but I messed up my jump. But that's okay.
Remember kids, always punch explosives. Nothing bad can possibly happen from that. This should be a full heal, yes? Hey, look at that. We will save though, because uh, this is not a roguelite. Okay. Oh, I got a flower. Oh, I'm actually out of space for stuff. Summons Yoshi during battle. Uh, hmm. I guess I should start using my flower stuff. I'll hold on to one, though, in case if I need some FP recovery. Alright, who's ready for a boss fight? I'm ready for a boss fight. Oh, hello, you. Punchinello, huh. Never heard of you. Alright. Okay, so, you know that he tried to do, like, the James Bond thing where he said, you know, his last name and then his first and last name? Uh, initially, in the, like, first draft of the localization, uh, this guy was supposed to be called James Bomb. So that joke would have made more sense, but, uh, apparently, uh, that idea got vetoed. And so we ended up with Punchinello. Which is an impressive name, I will say that, but, I don't know. The, the joke just kind of falls flat. Oh, those are some regular-sized big boy bob -ombs. Okay, um... Well, we have a solution for that. And it's electricity. Sandstorm. Me. Well, me in reference to what? I've never I've never been good with inside jokes, just a little, I'm a little too slow on the draw. Alright, let's see if this will take care of it. Hmm, Mallow's been feared. Alright, well, we can take care of that with a refreshing Able Juice. Alright, now Mallow's not scared anymore. Probably issues with the studio who owns the James Bond license. That could be. Stupid licensing agreements ruining everything. Who's ready for a boss fight? Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad to see that we have similar homicidal traits, Master Alex. Oh, did we win? Clobberin' time? Ooh, okay. Mezzo bombs. Got... Yeah. Alright, those kind of hurt a little bit. No, we're gonna use a good old fashioned Geno boost. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you press Y just as the arrows fade, like that, and you get that little lightning flash, you get both an attack up and a defense up. Normally, you would just get an attack up. And yes, you can, in fact, Geno boost on Geno, in case there wasn't enough Geno in your life already. You think he's bluffing? We'll see about that. Oh, that's a big bob -omb. And not the good kind of history. Oh. Well, it's been nice knowing you all. Oh. 
Hey, we're not dead. Well, there's the star. Hey, thanks for cleaning us up. You wouldn't know, you wouldn't you would not understand how much coal dust stains those overalls. That's the third of seven star pieces. We're well on our way. Yeah, let's get out of this dingy old mine. Oh, you must be Dinah. Alright. Yeah, we should read the warnings. Warnings are important. Minecart guidelines. Press A or Y to break, B to jump, get mushrooms, and press X to accelerate. Alright, so who's ready for some Mode 7 goodness? So yeah, we get to escape via a minecart ride! Because let's face it, it wouldn't be a Super Nintendo classic if it, if it didn't include a minecart sequence in it. I mean, that's why the Donkey Kong Country series was so successful. Solely because of minecarts. On those really sharp turns, make sure to brake, otherwise you'll skid right off. I mean, all you'll lose is some time, but, you know, time is important. On your first time through, you should go slow, not only just to enjoy the ride, but because after your first time through, uh, one of the moles outside will offer you a challenge where you can pay up to 30 coins and you can race again. And if you beat your time, you get more coins. So going slow will uh, help you with that. Hopefully you clean the inside too, don't want black lung. Yes, that is very important. Black lung is bad, kids. Oh, and you're also ready for mode seven? I, uh, that's good. I love mode seven. Just a quick little uh, technical information. Mode 7 was a technology uh, that the Super Nintendo could provide that basically enabled for uh, sprite scaling and rotation, which allowed for uh, more impressive 3D looking environments and 3D effects. You could see that more in a game like uh, F-Zero or Pilot Wings. In fact, those games are really only possible because of Mode 7. It was basically 3D before 3D was 3D. Also, you can uh, choose which junction you'd like to go down by pushing left or right on the control pad. But, uh, yeah, again, since this game came out in 1996, you can see that the Mode 7 technique has, uh, improved significantly since those first couple Super Nintendo games. Oh, finally, we're outside. Oh, you're just lurking? Alright. That is okay, Master Alex. Lurking is an important part of any Twitch channel. Well, we made it.
Oh, speaking of dropping in. Hey, do you mind if we just, like, crash here? Is that okay? Happy to help. You found Dinah, Might, and a star piece. But where is Toadstool? Huh? Oh, it's a beetle. And Sniffets. Huh. Princess from the sky? Sure, just take the darn thing. I have no use for it. Princess from the sky, eh? Huh, we should probably investigate that. Booster's Tower, alright. Sure, I'll buy some fireworks. I need something to spend my cash on anyway. Got fireworks. All right, so this is actually part of a little trading sequence, but thankfully the trading sequence is all located in Moleville. So if we talk to this girl here, she'll give us a shiny stone for fireworks, which we will do. Received a shiny stone. Now, we could give the shiny stone to Let's see, there's someone in town who wants who wants it, who will give us a, a carbo cookie, which we can trade to that girl in the bucket. To, uh, but we're actually going to hold on to the shiny stone, because those, those of you who have already played this game will know where I'm going with this, but uh, don't, don't spoil it, okay? I wanted, wanted to keep it a nice surprise, you know, for this 24-year-old game. But we will do something with the shiny stone, I promise. Let's see, we can now talk to this guy. Yeah, I remember you. A lucky jewel. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that's all you've got for now. Okay, that's fine. But the lucky jewel item can be used at, uh, during a battle to automatically activate a lucky flower, which means that you'll play for double coins or double experience at the end of the, at the battle, even if you normally would never get a lucky flower in that fight. So if you're feeling bold, you could use it in a boss fight and try and double the amount of coins or experience you get. But, you know, of course you could walk away with nothing, so... That's, uh, that's up to you. Uh, okay, there's really nothing else for us to do here, so we'll just, uh, hit the road. We'll head to Booster Pass. Oh, yeah, some of the local wildlife are actually homicidal. The Artichoker. A uh, fire orb should do the trick. Oh yeah, that's pretty darn good, I'd say. Oh, you healed yourself. Oh, that's funny, all right. It's not like it'll help you much. Oh, I got a Fright Bomb. Okay, all right. We can use that to scare enemies. That's the way to go. Oh. Yeah, as you can see, the artichokers do a good job of camouflaging themselves as just the regular plants around here.
Hmm. Go ahead, recover as much HP as you want. It won't save you from us. Remember kids, always eat your vegetables. Otherwise, they might just become homicidal and try to finish you off when you're not looking. Uh, let's see, we got Spikesters, which are just recolored, upgraded versions of the Spikies that we encountered previously. Thankfully, they're still not very tough. Once again. Was it Static E? Yeah, that's Static E. Then we'll just go right for the fire orb. This will finish you off. Oh, there's a hidden box here with a flower in it. I didn't actually want to fight there, I wanted to try to get up the cliff, but that's okay. Could you stop hitting Geno, please? It's very rude. You recovered just for that? I don't even think we did any damage to you. Oh, I see. Seems like it counters with recover whenever it gets hit by a special attack. Interesting. All right, Gino's actually looking exceedingly rough. That's okay. Uh, we should be able to win this fight. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's heal up before we get into another fight. There you go, Gino. Oh, another hidden box with rock candy. Okay, so as you can see, there are enemies in these little uh, nooks in the cliff. Oh, and a big old flower. But if you go into this little crevasse here, you can step on a switch. which will defeat the enemies immediately for you. I think you still even get experience from the fight, so... Hey, that helps. Alright, we made our way through Booster Pass, so now we can head to itself to Booster Tower. That was a weird sentence. Oh, it's Bowser! I like how Bowser has to pep himself up. That's just funny. So you don't have to bluff for us, Bowser. It's okay. Uh, alright. Well, welcome to Booster Tower. Hmm. Door's locked. Booster happened to leave a key somewhere. 
Hmm. Well, we'll have to find another way to break in. It's locked. Okay, you have to check the door. Yes, I'm still here. Yeah, just literally back into the door, Bowser. Yeah, you sure are a piece of work, but not for the reasons that you think. Mario and his friends have joined the Koopa Troop. Or so they're pretending. Bowser joins the group. Yes, that's right. Bowser is one of our party members. Nah, I can I can tell the nice people how to switch. Okay, so as you can see, you could only have three people in your active party. So we're gonna have we're gonna have this for now, just so that Bowser can you know show his stuff. Uh, because Mario is a glory hog, you can only he has to be in the party at all times, which is unfortunate. But you know, we'll make do. Also, everyone gains experience whether or not they're in the party, so don't worry about uh you know. Benching anyone. This seems like a good team for now, so let's just mosey on into the tower. And this, like, interesting checkerboard design. Yes, hello, receptionist. I'll force my way in, thanks. All right, so we got a bunch of snippets around here. So Bowser is a brute with devastating basic attacks. Uh, unfortunately, his specials are garbage. They cost way too much, way too many flower points, and they deal very little damage. Bolt! Ow! Oh, that didn't actually hurt very much. Yeah, that's some big damage right there. They made Bowser such a hilar hilarious character. Yeah, Bowser's like always the best part in uh, any Mario RPG. Uh, unless it's Sticker Star, in which case they, they commit the egregious sin of the fact that Bowser has no dialogue in Sticker Star, which is a crime that I think they outlawed in the Geneva Convention. Since, you know, it was just, it was so horrendous that no one actually thought anyone would do it, but here we are. But no, Bowser's great in this game. Unfortunately, Bowser is slow, as you would expect. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we just beat up your friend? Don't worry. Don't feel left out. R Remocon? Orb user. This game has some really weird names for enemies. But the orb user can actually heal its friend, so you gotta take out the supports first. Unfortunately, magic doesn't seem to do anything to it, but that's okay. Now that's the damage we're looking for. Body slam. Thankfully I was able to intercept it. So many enemies that will never ever be seen again. Which is really unfortunate. So I guess I can talk about like the legacy of Super Mario RPG because as I said in the first session that I did on Wednesday, uh. Despite having spawned two spiritual successor series, Paper Mario and the Mario and Luigi series, uh, for some people, there's just no comparing to the original Super Mario RPG. Oh, Booster the first, the second. See, there's a nice long legacy of boosters. This looks like Booster the sixth. But, um, 
A lot of people for many, many years have been clamoring for a, for a, a true sequel to Super Mario RPG, but unfortunately that's always been very tough because, well, due to how this game was originally developed as a, as a collaborative effort between both Squaresoft, now Square Enix, and Nintendo, uh, Square Enix owns a lot of the rights to this game, so any kind of project that would involve Super Mario RPG again would most likely require a lot of red tape. In fact, just the original characters that Square created, such as Mallow and Geno, uh, have not appeared... They basically never had any kind of starring appearance in any game since then. Really, the only cameo that Geno has had since the original Super Mario RPG was uh, in the Star Stash Smash arcade machine in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga in the original Game Boy Advance release, because his cameo was actually taken out in the 3DS remake. And uh, in the credits of Superstar Saga, there's like almost a whole paragraph dedicated to basically all the legalese that put that got Gino into the game, so even back then it was very difficult to, uh, you know, use characters from Super Mario RPG, and it's only gotten harder since. So will we ever see a sequel to this game? I don't know. It's very unlikely. I hope we do, but, you know, that's really not something for me to decide. Which is unfortunate, because this game would have had a sequel a long time ago if I was in charge. Huh? Oh, hello, Booster. Well, see ya. Also, we get this fabulous song. Uh, let's see, we are actually a little banged up, so why don't we... get some HP rain going. That's better. Oh, there goes Booster. Can we go over here? Oh, we got a flower tab. Sweet. Um, oh, I actually have too much stuff. Well, I'm not gonna use the Fright Bomb, so we'll throw that out. Yeah, I guess I should use my remaining flower stuff. Hmm. I'm gonna throw out the Yoshi cookies, I never use them. Okay. Now we're a little more tidied up, let's go on. Rob arms. That's just funny. I like that. Oh, they, they just exploded. Alright, cool. Alright, that hurt a little bit. Oh, I got a honey syrup. That might actually come in handy. I'm gonna use it. Oh, I'm full, because I used the flower tab. Oh well. I guess one of the good things about, uh, Super Mario RPG, even though if it's not had an official sequel, is that, uh... Gino has become something of a fan favorite character. I mean, uh, you know, the, the amount of people clamoring for him in Super Smash Brothers, if you've looked on forums and the like, is just. There's just a lot. I freely admit, I'm not sure what makes people love Gino. I mean, he's a good character, don't get me wrong, but it's just. There's like a. There are some devoted fans for Gino. And I guess that just kind of reflects the desperation of people for, you know, a sequel to Super Mario RPG. Ow. Alright, just shake that off. It might be down back here, but we got a masher. 
makes monsters mash. Or it makes monster mash, which, you know, is a local delicacy, don't you know? It goes great with some gravy. We'll just quickly sprint our way back up to where we were. Oh, and immediately get into another fight. We can see how powerful the masher is, though. Yeah, I'd say that qualifies as pretty darn powerful. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good. If you're just gonna keep throwing one at a time... Oh, that did barely anything. I guess I fumbled the timing on that. Oh well. You gotta pick me up. Oh, a button. Check out Booster Pass. Okay, after pushing that button, a secret cave will open up in Booster Pass, which I'll be sure to show later. Ah, yes, these curtains. Uh, if we go behind them... Notice, things seem a little different, but when you walk out... Yeah, it's 3D, it's, you know, Super Mario Brothers Mario. And this whole, like, turning into, um, previous versions of yourself would be something that would carry on in spiritual sequels, like Paper Mario. Unfortunately, if you try to leave the room... The effect will end, and I... I don't think you can ever turn back into... Super Mario Bros. Mario again, which is unfortunate, but, you know... It's a nice little cameo. Alright, we'll just immediately get into another fight. I do like fights. Well, not in real life, but, you know. In RPGs, it's all good. Nice. Another honey syrup. You're spitting bills out. Blaster. Alright. Let's give you a quick mashing. Thankfully the blaster is nice and slow, so we can continue to pummel it. me up. Alright. And Gino reaches level 9. Yeah, let's give him that attack boost. Yes, I would like to fight, please. I want to take you out. Gunk Ball? Well, that seems like a, an interesting attack for a Snippet to have. A fitting attack, that's what I meant to say. And Bowser's been muted. Oh no! Now Bowser can't use special attacks. What a tragedy. We could use some healing, though. Well, that was easy enough. I got an experience. <laughs> Bowser only needed one XP to level up. 
That's hilarious. Yeah, we'll give you that attack boost. <laughs> One experience to level up, of course. Oh, a save block! I do like save blocks. Let's see, how much experience does everyone need? Uh... No, not specials. Status. Two. Seven. Okay. Oh. Take a look at Booster's family portraits in order from the oldest to the youngest. Okay. So yeah, this is a good test of uh, your memory from the first floor. So we want to start with... What is it? Oldest to youngest? Yeah, oldest to youngest. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, if you get it wrong, you'll get into a fight, which... I guess is its own reward, because you can get some nice experience. Oh. Oh, yep, Bowser's burning. Not from very much, though. Mario leveled up. Learned Super Flame. It's like it's like regular flame, but super. Let's see. Yeah, we should give Mario HP. All right now, they've all shuffled. Hmm. Oh, and Mallow reaches level 10. Learn Shocker! Uh, you get more HP. Hmm. Um, hmm. I don't actually remember the order. I know you're last. Um, let me go back and check. Should just be a quick fall down. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. And who was second? Okay. Nope, okay. That's right, I think we'll crack it this time. Getting experience in coins, though. Can't complain about that. There's the real booster. But hey, we got the Elder Key. which we can use to go in here. Huh. 
There's a chain chomp here. They gaze into each other's eyes. Uh, alright. Apparently Bowser is, uh, well-versed in chain chomp husbandry. Oh, okay. Alright, sure. Got a chomp. Got a weapon for Bowser. Make sure to give him it. Chomp. Just spin me at an enemy. Oh, we have no more accessories and no armor. That's alright. So yeah, you don't have to do that little puzzle, but it gets you a weapon. Nice 3D-esque puzzle here. Get a mushroom. There should be, I thought, a hidden box around here. No, that is in the next room. As you can see, the 3D nature of the room may potentially uh, throw you off. So be careful. Alright, so Mallow can now use Shocker, which is like Thunderbolt, but it strikes a single target more powerfully. Unfortunately, I find that landing its timed hit is fairly difficult. You know what, why don't we use Bowser's current special, Terrorize. Terrorize strikes all targets, and its timed hit is if you uh, rotate the D-pad. But you summon a big boo to startle everybody. It may potentially scare enemies away or inflict the fear status effect on them, though this is quite rare. Yeah, here's a hidden box with a frog coin in it. Ah, this room. This room is filled with bomb traps which will spawn enemies, but of course there's cash and frog coins. Frog coin. Frog coin. Oh, there's an enemy. So it's kind of like Minesweeper. Except, you know, more dangerous. Mega Drain? Oh no, Bowser's been lasered. Yeah, that's some big damage. Uh oh. No, my desire for frog coins. That'll be what undoes me. Thankfully, they're not too durable, but they sure hit hard. Got the room key! Does that mean we can get room service now? Uh-oh. Please don't hit Bowser again. You're gonna hit Bowser again, aren't you? Because you're jerks! Yep. And Bowser's out. That's alright, we'll just take care of one of you. We'll use a pick-me-up. We got plenty. Oh, I fumbled the timing. But that's okay, it's still dead. Oh, what's in here? Found Zoom Shoes! Speed up by 10. Nice. 
Uh, we should give that to Gino. Because I think Gino is already the fastest of us. Might as well make sure he can outspeed everything. Yeah, he outspeeds like everything. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We will, however, give Bowser the Fearless Pin. Alright. Oh, chomps. Okay. Um... Yeah, we'll just fight. Gotta take out that orb user, though. Again, what a weird name for an enemy. Orb user. Iron Maiden. Oh, Mallow's been feared. Thankfully, Bowser cannot be feared, which is good. Uh, you know what? You just defend. We'll take care of this. Using a chomp to attack a chomp. That's, uh, that's pretty meta. Pretty far from leveling up. Eh, but I like fighting things. No, not the Iron Maiden! Actually, considering what an Iron Maiden really is, that'd be a terrifying looking attack. You know, just see one of our nice cartoon characters shoved inside a giant steel thing with nails. That's rated D for everyone, right? Right. Out of here. Okay. Ooh, gonna gestures drop a lot of cash. I guess that makes sense. Huh? No. We can just avoid his explosives by hiding behind here. There's no real need to do this, it just makes him sad. Well, bye bye! Oh, that was easy enough. Let's push on. Oh, hello. Now that's a way to guard a door. Just make sure you attach a giant steel sphere with teeth to a block. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely keep those annoying uh, insurance salesmen out. Forget the beware of dog. Beware of giant steel sphere with teeth. Oh, great. Now everyone but Bowser is afraid. Awesome.
Well, we still came out on top. Ah, save block. Okay, so we have a boss fight very close, but we also have a few hidden boxes. Like right here, with a mushroom. And... Goodie bag. I forget, what does the goodie bag do? It's packed full of coins. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you can use this in a fight to get money. Because, you know, this game clearly doesn't give us enough cash already. No, not any of that. Even with all this stuff, somehow, it's still not enough inventory space. It's unbelievable. There's not even a place where you can, like, store your stuff in this game. Ooh, a frog coin! I am all about that. We'll save again. Hmm. Oh, hi, Princess Peach. Eh, it's locked. Hmm. Uh-oh. Ah, yes, the classic hide-behind-the-curtains routine. You can move freely behind the curtains. Good luck hiding from Booster and his Sniffets. Okay, so this is a fun little mini-game. First, we'll have to wait for this uh, conversation. What is a party? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, that is true. That is generally what you do at parties. Drink punch and eat cake. And remember, it's it's drink punch, eat cake, not eat punch and drink cake. Wedding rehearsal. All right, sure. Of course they can't see the feet. Well, of course they can't. It'd be too easy. Just you lazy slobs couldn't find water if you were fish. That's a great insult. Uh-oh. Okay, so here's the minigame. Just don't get discovered. Just make sure you're not standing behind one of the curtains that the sniffet opens. You can get discovered twice without penalty, but if you get caught three times, you'll be forced into a boss fight with Booster and his Sniffets. Uh, if you succeed in the minigame, though, you'll earn an accessory that you could normally not get anywhere. And you'll get out of a boss fight. So it's up to you. Do you want a boss fight and get some experience, or do you want a, an accessory that you can't find anywhere else? It's up to you. And remember, you can still sprint behind the curtains by holding Y, which will help you make sure that you don't get caught. Alright, now it's all three snippets. I think they'll start attempting to fake us out. Yep. And now they scramble. And now Booster will find us, but that's okay. Yo, Booster, have you seen a dentist? Your smile is terrifying. 
just knock it down because we we're nice guys. And you get an amulet. Uh, thanks. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> it's just like, wait a sec. Alright, so that was fun. We're gonna go back and save, because whether or not you fight Booster and his Sniffets, uh, there is another boss fight immediately afterwards. What the? Ow! Alright, so, we have the clowning duo of Knife Guy and Great Guy as boss fights. Uh, Knife Guy is vulnerable to Mario's Fire Orb, while Great Guy is vulnerable to Mallow's Thunderbolt and Shocker. So, we're just gonna give him a- no, not that. I'm gonna use the new Super Flame. Super Flame is just, a uh, Fire Orb, but better. And you- and its timed hit is exactly the same as Fire Orb, just mash the Y button. Ooh! Ooh! 306! Now that's spicy right there. We'll just focus on one at a time. More Super Flame! That's so good! Alright, now we'll just shock Great Guy into submission. Ooh, that's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can't get the timed hit down for this. Okay, so here's me doing nothing. I'm not gonna push the Y button at all. Oh, that did 128. I guess I got the timed hit previously. Alright. I mean, I'm alright with that. Whoa, what the... Oh, you missed. You stink! Shock it to him! There we go. Alright, that's good. Oh, and you're done. All right, that was easy enough. Just only one thing to do, just jump off the friggin' balcony. I mean, we're Mario and friends. We can't suffer fall damage. But it's time to head off. Hide and seek. Oh, hello. What? Did, wasn't that your whole plan in the first place? You you threw him in just to make sure because he always spoils the fun. Did you already forget about that? Okay. This is the Booster Hill track. Uh, yes. You can only move left, right, and jump. If you hit a barrel or a sniff it, you'll fall backwards. If you manage to land on a barrel or on a sniff it's cranium, you'll you'll move forward. If you manage to reach Princess Peach, you'll get a flower. That's all you have to do. Ooh. Eh. No, come back. I want more flowers. Huh? But yeah, this whole minigame is just about getting more flowers, so don't worry if you're not very good at it. Thanks. That's another one. Yeah, as you can see, the Sniffets will do a little wiggle when they, uh, speed up.
That's another flower! Whoa! Uh, excuse me! You can't take my spot! Ow! Darn it! There we go. Get out of here, you! That's four! This is the tallest hill in the universe! How long does this go on for? Are you sure this is a hill and not a mountain? I mean, sheesh, man. Ow. Why would they put a wedding hall at the top of a, a mountain? I mean, come on. Everyone's gonna be tired before the reception even begins. This is ridiculous. We got four flowers. That's pretty good. I'm satisfied with that. <sighs> oh, man. Well, we made it to, uh, marry more. The face of a totem pole. Ow, that's harsh. Alright, well. Oh, we're all mostly healed up. Hmm. Uh, I guess we better rest up. I mean, we did just run, like, you know, several miles uphill at breakneck speeds. Oh, what can we buy? We buy a super hammer. Handgun, womp glove, chomp shell. Alright. Booster is in amazing shape to carry Peach while Mario's chasing after him. Yes, he is. I will give him that. He is very strong. Uh, let's get the handgun, Womp Glove. I actually think the Chomp Shell is worse than the Chomp. But we will get the happy uh, stuff. Because, why not? Alright. Oh, that's actually worse. We don't want that. We will take the happy shirt. Womp Glove. Happy Pants, which just sounds funny. Get the Happy Shell, because Bowser does need some more defense. The Hand Gun. And the Happy Cape. We'll sell all the extra stuff. We will not sell the Amulet, though, because we can't get that anywhere else. I forget, what is... I think the Amulet just provides, like, an overall stat buff. Yeah, it's pretty good. But it also, apparently, it smells bad. Uh, let's see. Do I have any flower tabs left? Yes, I do. I'll use the flower jar. But then that means I don't need to spend any time in the suite, so... We'll just save. Alright, well, let's, uh, crash a wedding. That sounds like fun, right? Oh, hey! It's that newlywed couple. Or that they were about to be. Hmm. Well, um, I give up. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to put a stop to it. Thankfully, from my experience, most places have back entrances. Well, I'm not- I'm not getting married, though. Yeah, right back here. Hmm. Alright, we probably shouldn't fiddle with that. <laughs> Mustache? Uh, yes, I am Mario, idiot. Oh, did you barricade that door, too? Alright, sure. Whatever. We need to get where we need to go anyway. Nope, not quite. 
Oh, perfect synchronization. Seems like no one is capable of using a door properly in this universe. Because, I mean, well, let's see, when we were in Mario's pad, we crashed into the ceiling. We just drove a minecart through a roof. And now, uh, we have to slam doors down. Earthquake in a can. Looks like Bowser will need our help. That'll do. Well, this is going about as bad as it could be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> uh. Yeah, because she said, you dolt. Corrosive? Yes, hello, we're already here. Alright, then. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for this? Hurry and get back the accessory from the Sniffits and save Princess Toadstool. If you're quick, something good just might happen. Alright, make sure to talk to the Sniffits and snag the items. Again, the faster you do this, the better. Just make sure you bump into them. No, I need you. Alright, and the last item is on Booster's noggin. Then just talk to Booster and hand in the stuff. Ow. Look, we can talk later, all right? Oh, isn't that great? Guys, guys, there's no reason to complain. There's plenty of me to go around. Look, everyone line up. We can all just... It'll be like a kissing booth, okay? Just everybody line up. It's all right. Feels like sandpaper, huh? Maybe you guys need to work on your, like, skincare routine or something. Look, moisturizer is important, alright? Well, see ya, Booster. Yeah, Booster, didn't you, like, hand out flyers or something? This is the saddest wedding in existence. Yeah, we are leaving. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we need to, uh... Let's start hitting the cake. Because, why not? Eh, why not? We'll rough up the chefs, too. Oh, can't even deal any damage. Alright, that's fine. Then we'll just keep hitting the cake. Man, that is a sturdy cake if it's able to take all this damage. Thankfully, the two chefs are pretty weak, so we'll be able to just take care of them no problem. 200 damage! Wow.
Ah, yes, the classic, you know, a character tries to tell another character something, but they don't see it. Oh, yep, the cake's definitely moving. <laughs> because you are an idiot. Well... Uh, you were saying? So yeah, this is where the real fight begins. And yes, our boss fight is a cake. Don't be surprised, the cake is actually equipped with some pretty strong skills. Oh, and Bowser's asleep. That's just wonderful. Blizzard! Yeah, don't ask me how a cake has command of ice moves, but, you know, it does. But thankfully, uh, just like most cakes, cakes don't like being stepped on. Oh yeah, that's some good damage. Oh, I should have woken Bowser up. Oh well. Oh, that'll wake Bowser up. By being shot by a cake. C could you imagine a cake shooting you? How ridiculous. But I mean, I guess that's the most believable thing I've seen today. Oh, and now Mario's asleep. Alright. Again, I'm not sure how a cake causes an earthquake, but, you know. Eh. Oh, man, everyone's afeard. Alright, well, we'll just, uh... Where's my able juice? There's some able juice. No. Give that to Marrow. See, this is the kind of creativity you don't get these days anymore. I mean, a cake as your boss fight. How inspired is that? Ooh, that's some good damage. Um, Why don't you use Psychopath, see if we can't figure out how much HP this thing has. Uh, nothing, apparently. Alright. Cool, that was some useful information, Mallow. Good job. Cure Mario again. Get a freebie! I do like free stuff. Ow! Darn it! Oh, Mario's in bad shape. Alright, um... No, we'll have Mallow heal Mario. How much would a regular jump do? Oh, that's alright. Give Mario the mid mushroom. Oh, and a freebie! Hmm. Yeah, the cake's a tough customer. No doubt about that. Nah, you should heal yourself. Certainly the most durable boss we've fought so far. Should be about close to giving up, though, I think. Oh, it looks like Mallow's gotten over his fear. Good! Well, so much for that. 
Um, nah. Did about as much damage as a regular jump. It looks like we're blowing out the candles, though, which is what we were recommended to do. There we go. But now we just have the base of the cake. I should use a mid mushroom. Uh, yeah, and heal Bowser. All right. Drain beam. Since when does a cake know how to do that? We need some more MP. F MP, FP, sorry. <laughs> Got my nomenclature mixed up. I do like the freebies, though. I wish you guys would stop being scared by a cake, though. It's a cake. What's scary about cake? Oh, there we go. Okay. A 70% chance? What's the other 30% then? Boil a cake. Why would you do such a thing? Congratulations. Good, good job. All right. Well, that was uh, interesting. S see ya, everybody. G good, good fight. That was weird. Yeah, let's get out of here. Toadstool, Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, has joined the party. Be sure to bring her back safely. All right then, let's uh, let's get out of here. Besides, isn't this like didn't someone else have this place booked already? We should we should clear out. Yes. Of course. Oh, and congratulations. All right, then. Let's see, how are our stats? Oh, we were fully healed. Cool. Um, we did use quite a few items, but that's okay. Items are meant to be used. Let's get out of here. Thankfully, it takes us directly back to the Mushroom Kingdom. 
I'm glad to see that everything's fine here. Oh, that old joke again. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, um, so, uh, here he is. Look, it's a long story, okay? Yeah, we ought to help him out. <laughs> now, th now that's a face right there. I'm I'm not sure what that face is, but it is a face. A vacation? Sure. We can kiss our dreams goodbye. Oh, don't worry. That's already happened. Doh. <laughs> yep, it's a catch-22, Bowser. I'm not sure what that was about. Yes. Well, I mean, we were going to do that anyway, so, you know. Princess Tool Toadstool is home safe, but she has decided to stay at the kingdom. All right, well... Where to next? Oh! Alright, sure. Oh yeah, we should ask Frog Fuchsius! Just as I thought! Toadstool joins the party once again! Alright! So now we have five party members. We have ourselves a merry little band here! Princess Peach is the, uh, white mage of the group. She has, uh, the best supportive skills in the game. 
but uh, she's not very durable, so you know. But yeah. Uh, let's see. I guess we should head off to Tadpole Pond and see if we can't talk to Frog Fuchsia, see if we can't figure out where this next star piece is. Just jump across Tadpole Bridge again. Star Hill. All right. Uh, let's see, is... No, I don't think we can do that yet, but that's fine. All right, so Star Hill, that's where we gotta go. See, that's the forest maze. This leads to Star Hill. To marry more. Talk to the flower and the stargate will open. Oh, okay, cool. To Star Hill. That's where we want to go. Let's switch the party up. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, okay. This is like a resting place for stars. Yeah. Wish I had some cricket jam. Uh, that was probably one of Frog Fuchsia's wishes. <coughs> oh. Sackets, Muku Mukus, and Geckos. Oh, I missed. Well. Uh, let's slap a gecko. You know, as you do. They're all going for Princess Peach. That's not cool. Um... Uh, let's take care of a Sackett. Oh, there it goes. Oh well. Uh, you should definitely heal up. We have Therapy, which heals a single target, and also cures you of any status effects you might be suffering from. It's like HP Rain, but better. Uh, that was an attack, all right. Huh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's interesting. Okay. I got a maple syrup. Nice. Sure, we'll get into another fight. Why not? Oh, hello. What are you? A master doom. That's a funny name. I like that. Use the Geno Beam on you. You should probably defend yourself. That wasn't too bad, actually. I got a mint mushroom. You know, this this isn't normally the place that I would expect like moles to appear, but you know, what what do I know about star hills? 
All right, get a maple syrup again. I wish I weren't such a crybaby. Oh. Huh. Eh, fair enough. By activating all the little flower buds, we open up the gate. The gophers are adorable when they attack. They are adorable, I can definitely give you that. I can just get that melody. Again, I've never seen that missed me attack, which just confused me greatly. Fun and run! Oh, that wasn't very fun for me. That hurt a lot. Uh-oh. Ah, Gino's HP got maxed out. Nice. Venom drool? Yuck. Yeah, you should heal yourself. Oh, and then it went away. All right. That's a good amount of experience. Oh, hello, you. Oh, pulsars. Oh, these guys. Now, are these the ones that counter when you hit them with basic attacks? Yes. They'll use migraine. Which can potentially KO the target instantly, which is not fun. Yeah, so we're going to want to use special abilities on these guys. See ya! Ooh, look at all that money! And Gino leveled up! Uh... Yeah, let's get you some more HP. Oh, and Bowser leveled up! Yeah, we'll boost your HP. That gives us the most stat points. I want to be a, a Vald class baker. Oh, hello, you. Oh, it's just one. This will be easy peasy. Yep, that was easy peasy. Oh, hello, you! I'm just Geno Beam the Pulsar first. Don't need any instant death skills around here. Because instant death skills are not fun. Mostly because my luck is so atrocious that I usually get hit by them. I like that Princess Peach uses a smack attack. I don't know, I just... There's just something funny about that. Oh! Hmm. 
Well, we just have to make that wish come true now, don't we? We'll grant that wish. I want to be the best treasure hunter in the world. Let's open up another gate. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll use a super flame on the mass to doom. I don't really need another drain beam in my life. I'll freely admit, I was worried uh, after the first session where we got two star pieces in it. I thought that we'd be, be doing this a lot faster than I thought, but thankfully that's not the case. Let's give you that magic attack bonus. go through the gate again, which will take us to a different part of the map, with more enemies, of course. Mmm, that's the big damage we're looking for. You know, this is nice. Oh, Mallow leveled up. That's also nice, but you know, just the kind of nice laid back, just playing games. Sometimes that's all you need. I hope I become famous. Wish I could run faster. No, please let me check the flower, thanks. Oh! And the fourth star piece is ours. Without even a fight. You've come a long way, but your journey's not over yet. There are three more star pieces. All right, let's look around and find a way out of here, shall we? I want to be a great plumber like my brother Mario. That's Luigi's wish. All right, and this should take us out of here. Well, that was nice. But now we can head on to the seaside town. Huh. Somewhat sinister background music. The place seems kind of deserted. Okay. Hmm. Star in the ocean, huh? Interesting. Oh, hello! Oh, you've grown quickly. All right, this is one of the main places that you can use for your frog coins. You can get the experience booster, which doubles experience, coin trick, which doubles coins, or Scrooge ring, which cuts the amount of FP that you need to use skills in half. Of course, you can also p acquire a Sia, which enables you to escape a fight for free or in earlier times, which lets you start a fight over. Which is a really interesting idea for an item concept, but, you know. I don't see much use in earlier times, but, you know, maybe you will.
Are you feeling well? Jump into the whirlpools? Okay. Yeah, there is definitely something suspicious going on here. How do you know that? There is definitely something fishy here. And it's not the local wildlife, I can tell you that. Jonathan Jones? Huh. Spider senses are tingling. Sure you are. Oh, we can actually buy stuff. We can buy some bombs. We can also buy bad mushrooms, which poison enemies. Unfortunately, not much useful here. At least nothing that I find useful. Not even a place to rest. That's fine. Probably don't want to sleep here anyway. Alright, well, they say that a star has fallen into the ocean, so... Why don't we see if we can go there? To the sea! I see! Well, this don't look like much of a sea to me! There's dry land! You ripped me off! Um... Alright. Hello there. Oh, look at that. You're you're the people who sell the things that I actually want. Cool. That's good. A freshen up is like an able juice, but it heal but it uh, restores the whole party instead. Uh let's buy. Well actually we can get the hurly gloves for Bowser. And we can buy some better armor. Look, I'm actually spending my money now. Look at that. I mean, it didn't end up using the um, happy stuff for very long, but that's okay. Bowser doesn't have anything, which is fine. Uh, yeah, we'll give Princess Peach the amulet. We don't have anything else. We will also give Bowser the hurly gloves. There we go. Okay. Is there anything else that I want to buy? Do I even have room for anything else? Oh. Giant squid? Oh. That's kind of foreboding. How much space do I have? Not very much. Yeah, I got two slots left. Um, hmm. Guess we'll just have to stick with what we've got. Oh, and a save block! Feels like forever since we saved. Actually, because it, it kind of has been. There's been a fair amount of time since we last saved. Alright, but uh, this, I think... Mario, please stop looking at me. That creeps me out. Um... I think this is a good place to stop for now. We've collected two more star pieces by assisting the moles in Moleville, and just lying in Star Hill. Oh, and we stopped a wedding, so that's fun. But uh, apparently there's a sunken pirate ship with a giant squid. Joyous. But uh, I think we'll deal with that next time. So thank you for stopping by, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful time. I certainly did. Uh, and I hope to see you again on Monday for more Super Mario RPG. For now, this is The Defender, signing out. See you later. <laughs>